The topic comes up if you ask any Duck fan what his or her favorite thing about the 2012 Rose Bowl was. We won, of course. I think my favorite thing was probably just finally winning. What was your favorite thing about the Rose Bowl? Uh, winning, finally. Okay, maybe second favorite. I think the helmets were amazing. They were really cool. The helmets were so cool, man. The helmets were pretty crazy. They were really, really cool. They were also hard to miss, gleaming under the bright Southern California sun when the Ducks took the field at Rose Bowl Stadium. Check out the helmets. We're looking for this one. They're going very fancy. Fancy enough for the national spotlight, these helmets were dreamed up and created in a plain looking warehouse in Newburgh. It was fun to be involved in something that is this, uh, this out there, I guess. But uh, no, we had no idea that people were going to respond like this. Chris Tom is the president of Hydrographics Inc., the man behind those liquid metal helmets. His company started working with Nike more than three years ago. Late 2008, I think, is when some of the first carbon fiber uh, helmet uh, samples came about. Uh, went through probably, uh, I would say, seven, eight different variations before something was chosen. The final product didn't make it onto the field until 2010, but since then, Tom and his crew have been pumping out helmets as fast as LMJ blasts through the defense. They've challenged me to push the envelopes, get outside the box. So how does it all work? Well, it starts with polyvinyl alcohol film with a pattern like Oregon's carbon fiber print. It works like a drip, uh, breath strip. It dissolves in water and then just leaves the ink on the surface. Then they dip an object, like a hard hat, in the water. You draw that through that, the pattern that's left on the water, and the pressure of the water conforms that uh, pattern to the three-dimensional shape, in this case, with the hard hat. When it comes out, it looks like this. It's the same process hydrographics used for the Rose Bowl helmets. The liquid metal helmet that we did for Oregon, and uh, to be honest with you, some of the stuff that we're working on now that's coming, um, my favorite, isn't out yet. Which means we won't find out what Tom has up his sleeve until it hits the field. We've seen comments of what's next, invisible helmets, you know, or what, you know, so it's, it's been fun to watch.